hey there, babies. Well, let's get into it, huh? April 17th birthday reading. So a happy birthday to you if it's your birthday, April 17th. Looks like the day of serious purpose. That's right. We got a little fish on a sail, or with a sail, rather. Yeah, instead of a dorsal fin. I like it. I like it a lot. The day of serious purpose. All right. Those born on April 17th carry a strong sense of their own power while at the same time exhibiting an adventuresome spirit and leadership qualities. That's right, qualities. These are definitely people who expect to be listened to when they speak. As a matter of fact, being ignored in any manner is extremely difficult for them to handle. They know that they count and that they are important. And often they expect that others will pay respect and follow them to the ends of the earth if necessary. Some born on this day may make a quiet impression at first, but one can nevertheless feel the force submerged in them. And if an April 17th person is as yet unaware of his or her power urges, it will only be a matter of time before some crucial incident in life brings these to the fore. That's right. Those born on this day may be deeply interested in philosophy or religion, for powerful ideas often attract powerful people. They may also seek to ally themselves with strong individuals and institutions. For them, everything that is established of a social nature is to be defended and served to the fullest. Yet they also despise bullies and will seek to bring them down. Uh, bring down those who abuse privilege or position, rather. Those born on this day may themselves come from quite humble backgrounds, but never forget their roots. April 17, people cherish their willpower and sharp, sharply reasoning mind above all else. They have a kind of shrewdness or cunning that will lead them out of the most difficult situations. In this respect, they are amoral, so they must be aware of lending their energies to unscrupulous or underhanded endeavors, which will eventually catch up with them, no matter how high they may rise. More highly evolved, the April 17th people put their power directly in the service of others, particularly those weaker and more vulnerable who cannot protect themselves. Unevolved, the April 17th people may be carried away by egotism and greed. A desire to indulge the pleasures of the mind as well as the body can come, become all-consuming pursuits for some born on this day. Learning to be less possessive by giving up material possessions from time to time would be an important lesson for them to learn. Actually, every individual born on this day should be aware of selfishness, especially in the name of family, where it passes as filial or parental responsibility. I think I said filial, right? I don't know. I've never said it. Eventually, these individuals may come to realize that they are part of one human family and find a realistic, helpful role relative to the common good. April 17, people take themselves seriously, perhaps too much so. They have to remember to laugh at themselves from time to time, discover a lighter side of life, perhaps cultivate pastimes. They should also try to be less judgmental. It is very important for them to live and let live. And the sooner, the better. Yeah. All right, those born on the day of serious purpose. J.P. Morgan, financier, most powerful turn-of-the-century businessman who's also an uh, art collector. Nikita Khrushchev, the Soviet premier. Sirimavo Bandaranaik, first woman's prime minister of Sri Lanka, then Ceylon. Well, let's just butcher that name, shall we? Yeah, gee, many Christmas. All right, who's next? Isaac Dennison, Karen Blixen. Oh, I guess that was her pen name, Karen Blixen. She was a Danish writer, a coffee plantation manager, and she wrote Out of Africa. Tamerlane, he was a 4th century conqueror. Raphael I bid a wid. Uh, Chaldean Catholic Church patriarch. 
I swear this book puts more words in front of me. I've never heard, I've never heard before. Let's see. Um, Constantinos Cavifs. He was Cavafy, <laughs> Greek poet of Alexandria. Thornton Wilder, two-time Pulitzer Prize winning playwright. Claire Francis, British writer, adventurer, sailed around the world. William Holden, film actor. Uh, Harry Reasoner, TV journalist of 60 Minutes fame. Cynthia Ozick, poet, essayist, novelist, wrote Trust. Jan Hammer, he's the Czech jazz fusion keyboardist, bassist, composer. Uh, Miami Vice, if memory serves. Buster Williams, jazz bassist. Lindsay Anderson, British film director of This Boarding Life. And oh, lucky man, exclamation point. Don Kirshner, rock concert promoter and TV host. Who else we got? Olivia Hussey, British film actress. Robert Wood. CBS president, Siegfried Jerusalem, German tenor, and George Adamski, UFO expert. Probably the Flying Saucers, not the band, but who's to say? Now on to the numbers and planets. All right. Excuse me here. Those born on the 17th day of the month are ruled by the number 8. 1 plus 7 equals 8. And by the planet Saturn. April 17th, people may be unduly attached to material possessions and Saturn. Uh, let's see. Which carries with it a strong feeling of limitation and restriction. So you may add to this problem. In addition, Saturn tends to carry a judgmental aspect as well, increasing the already present tendency of April 17th people to be overly severe in their criticism of others. However, the combined influences of Mars, the ruler of Aries, and Saturn can sometimes cause them to become too accommodating and self-effacing in order to gain the adulation they need. The number eight carries a conflict between the maternal and spiritual worlds. Those ruled by the number eight can be lonely and also prone to indulge in excess. All right, moving on to the tarot. In the major, arc major arcana, the 17th card is the star which shows a beautiful naked girl under the stars pouring refreshing water on the parched earth with one pitcher and reviving the stagnant water of a pond with another. She represents the glories of the earthly life, but also material enslavement to it. The stars above her are eternal reminder of the spiritual world. April 17th people are thus warned against excessive physicality at the expense of something higher. Here's your health. Those born on the April 17th must be aware of all forms of excess and indulgence, if you weren't picking up on that. Whether sex, drugs, food, or drink, they may fall into certain addictive patterns through fully, oh, feeling lonely or misunderstood. Those contr uh, to control their weight, which can really shoot up if they are depressed. They should avoid saturated fats, excessive meat, rich sauces, and cake. Now, once again, for those of you who might have missed it, saturated fats, excessive meat, rich sauces, and cake. So stick to those bland sauces. And if those born on this day can manage to find a suitable vocation, enjoy the company of one or two good friends and live with someone who loves them, they will have a good chance of stabilizing their emotions. As a way of relaxing, yoga may work. Also travel, particularly adventuresome holidays, will do wonders to keep them lively and focused on the rest of their year. So here's some advice, April uh, 17th people, aside from staying away from cake and rich sauces, to be less critical of others, okay? Also be aware of becoming too dependent on having their approval. Seek spiritual as well as physical activity. Lighten up, remember to have fun, okay? Set easy tasks for yourself as well as difficult ones. And here's your meditation. Laughter is the best medicine. As you may well know from April 16th, folks, the day of cosmic comedy. So maybe find you one of them and uh, take some tips if and, uh, you need that. All right. Moving on to your strengths, shall we? Well-grounded, strong-willed. 
responsible. Okay, and here's some of your weaknesses, April 17th, folk. Overly critical, are you? Be honest. Judgmental. And grim. Okay, grim. <laughs> okay. So, in case you didn't know, your season is spring. You are an Aries. Uh, Aries 3, specifically. And your elemental um, quality, that's right. Cardinal Fire, that's right. You are Cardinal Fire. Check out uh, one of my videos over on YouTube, and I'll break that on down for you, if and you're curious, Dad. And uh, I think that about wraps it up for the uh, birthday reading for today. All right, let's move on, yeah. <laughs> 